Walter White jumping and chasing Rocky Gannon here in round three. Now there's White's ticket. The, those lefts and rights on the inside. He's got to fight right off the chest of Gannon and see if he can get those overhand rights and left in as he was in round one. Because of the decided height disadvantage, right? Yeah, he can't, he can't stay on the outside. And when Gannon uses the jab to set up that right hand, he lands it almost every time. There is Gannon using the jab. It's an underused weapon. For him. Look, just when he jabs his way in, what a difference it makes. Well, when Gannon has gotten white against the ropes, he is just punishing him. And now in that last round, you saw that as a 10-8 round, didn't you? I made it 10-8, which I very seldom do when there's not a knockdown, but Gannon dominated it so convincingly, and the numbers showed that. You almost had to make it that. Now, Dominic Carter, who was supposed to be the opponent for Rocky Gannon, is much taller than Andre White, and a style similar to Gannon. And that, by the way, that's about I would still love to see. So give Gannon credit for adapting his style to a, a different kind of a boxer. And in fact, it was difficult in round one. just can't stop that punch, especially when Gannon sets it up with the jab. At 26 years of age, Gannon would like to think he can take another step up here. He needs an impressive win to do it, and he may be getting it. He says he wants 10 belts so he can have enough for his mother and father. He said when he was a kid, he was so poor, they never knew where the next meal was coming from, and he wants to take care of his parents. Right now, he's taking care of Andre White. 10 seconds. Round number three coming to a conclusion. Gannon and White on ESPN. Now there's Rocky Gannon. There's Butterbean working the corner of Gannon. They have the same manager. And that is our door with him. And also the same trainer, Murray Sutherland, who was a terrific light heavyweight, IBF champion at one time. Fought in an era when there were many, many great light heavyweights, and he was terrific. Round number four underway, and after a good round one for Andre White, Rocky Gannon has taken over the last two rounds, and now let's take a look at your scorecard. I have given the last two rounds to uh, Gannon, and so I have him up now 29-27. One of those was a, uh, a two-point round, and so he is moving ahead in my scorecard. I gotta give Andre White some credit, though. He has taken a real pounding, and yet he came out here in this round and he was throwing some pretty good punches. Also, Andre White is landing at a very good pace, percentage-wise. It's just he's not throwing enough punches. There have been no knockdowns. Now, Al, here's the question. In round one, we saw White on the inside do a good job. The last two rounds, as he throws a chopping right, he's been on the inside getting pounded. What does he have to do? Stay again? on the inside and do what he just did right there. Be more aggressive. Throw the overhand right. Throw the left hook. He has to get off first against Gannon. He can land on the inside. And look, there's the jab from White, which has been not used. Now, that's good work by Gannon on the inside, but if White has any chance to win, it's going to be there. I'll tell you what, this is a war. Andre White and the Black Crunch keeps chopping away. Rocky Gannon keeps pounding away. We're just in round four. This is scheduled for 12. Both men have some defensive liabilities. That is part of what's making this such an entertaining and action-filled bout. Look at Gannon go to work on White. I have to wonder how much Andre White has left. And Gannon doing a good job of going to the body. And just when you think White is through, he comes back. But look at Gannon working over, mixing his attack exceptionally well. score with bombs. And after all the punishment White has taken, how much pop does he have in his punches? Well, he is getting raked over the coals again here around four. Every once in a while he comes back with a big shot, but there's so few and far between. And what else? Another right hand from Gannon. Rocky 
Gannon teeing off on Andre White. Closing seconds of round four. Rocky Gannon continues to pound Andre White from Des Moines, Iowa. Andre White out of St. Louis, Missouri. Returns to the ring to start round number five. He had a very good round one against Rocky Gannon, but since that point, he has just been pounded. And how much longer can White last, Al? Well, I'll tell you what, they were talking to him in the corner telling him he's got to throw some punches. He's got to be more aggressive so they don't stop this bout. He is getting ripped, and I'll tell you, I don't know how much longer they'll let this go on. There is no standing eight count here with the IBA rules, and so if Ron Stander is going to step in, it would have to be to stop the bout. And, you know, something that developed after round one was a cut over the left eye of Gannon, but White has hit him so few times that he hasn't been able to work on it. Very little offense coming from Andre White right now. And not much defense. No. He's trying to cover up, but he's having a hard time. You can start to make a case for stopping this. In fact, you can net be able to make the case right now. And White's hands getting further apart, too. Gannon, remember, he used the jab as he works his way in, which is impressive, and not taking a lot of crazy chances. He knows he's got White in trouble. Rocky Gannon started fighting in Ohio in 1991 in tough man competitions. Started out as a heavyweight, but he has moved down to the light heavyweight. That's rare that boxers losing weight. And, and often it's a good idea for them. He runs eight miles a day when he trains. This is my problem is being overtrained, so I have to make sure that I don't do too much. He says the final two weeks before a fight is when he really kicks it into gear. He says he takes a week off after a fight, and then he's back in the gym. Art Door says this kid has a lot of heart and determination. And now it's just like working on a heavy bag. Yeah, very little offensively coming from Andre White. I, I'll tell you, you could make a case for stepping in, and if I was in Andre White's corner, I might think about throwing in the towel. Be interesting to see the punch totals oh. for round five. I bet White has thrown so few punches in this round. How about that round two when Gannon threw 136 punches? Push it right back. Push it right back. After 90 plus in round one, and White looking to go. White has never suffered a knockout loss. Round number five coming to an end. The big question, will Andra White answer the bell for round six? Hey! I'm Papa and Al Bernstein back in Des Moines, Iowa. Hope you're enjoying ESPN's championship boxing. Don't forget our main event still to come. Michael Carvajal defends his IBF Junior Flyweight Championship. Right now the IBA light heavyweight title on the line. Rocky Gannon and Andra White. And Al, it's a shock that Andre White has made it to round six. Amazing, and how about this? He comes out winging right hands at Rocky Gannon. He's trying. I mean, you got to give it. There are the numbers. And huge, huge edge for Gannon, of course. White throwing only 17 punches, landing 82. He lands everything he throws. He just doesn't throw enough. Well, he's trying, Andre White. For those people who, all week, I was uh, guesting on radio shows after the Tyson Selden match, and people denigrated how, whether boxers try, whether they make an effort, I would look at this as exhibit A. Not only is Rocky Gannon giving it everything he has, how about Andre White, who has been punished, has hung in there, and still tried throughout this match? Boy, if Bruce Selden had a third of Andre White's heart, might have gone three rounds against Tyson. Well, I'm going to say that this speaks to what most boxers are all about. 
One, two, Rocky, one, two. What we're seeing here, look at Andre White still trying, still trying to get something done against Rocky Gannon. I don't ever apologize for the sport of boxing, but you'll never get me to denigrate boxers in general. They are a spectacular lot when it comes to ability, conditioning, and also their will to win in a very tough sport. But for the most part, you need very nice people. Yeah, that's true also. Right here, Rocky Gannon has White in trouble. White shot his load early in the round here, and now he is again being punished. One minute to go in round number six. The amazing thing is Andre White hasn't been knocked down yet. And every so often, he looks for that opening to rip off a right hand or a left, maybe catch Gannon. And again, the uppercut. And he told us Gannon did it would be a big, a big part of his arsenal here. And boy, it has been. He's used that punch repeatedly and to great effect. Boy, Rocky Gannon's got to be armed here. But he is in tremendous shape. Every once in a while, White will find the opening for that overhand right and get it in. But now, as you pointed out earlier, his punches don't have that kind of snap. Approaching the final 20 seconds of round number six, Rocky Gannon from Bay City, Michigan, by way of Dayton, Ohio, humbling Andre White for this IBA Light Heavyweight Championship, the first ever IBA talent. Down goes White, and back up comes White. Six, seven, eight, you all right, baby? Boxer can be saved by the bell in every round. This should be stopped. Only in the last round of the IBA, that is. Andre White is wobbling around the ring. There is no reason to let this fight continue by either his corner or the referee. This should be ended right now, I'm telling you. Let's listen in if we can. Pull it out. See? She's telling you, you got to roll and punch, baby. You got to roll and punch. You cannot pull out on the man. You cannot pull out on the water. You all right? Take a look at the end of the round. Here is where Andre White went down. A huge right hand by Rocky Gannon. Maybe the best he's thrown all night. He's thrown some good ones. Lands a short right hand landing right on the chin. And Andre White got right back up, though. You see him right there. Get up. It was amazing, but he wobbled afterwards and was hurt, I think. Don't forget, still to come our main event, Michael Carvajal out of Phoenix. 41 and 2, 26 knockouts, a little hands of stone defends his IBF Junior Flyweight Championship tonight on ESPN's Championship Boxing. Hope you're enjoying it. Round number seven is underway. I'm going to tell you, this is why I was right. It should have been stopped. Ron Stander should be stepping in right now. He's got to help out Andre White. Andre, no reason for him to take this punishment. And here comes Stander. Gets his 19th knockout, and after a sluggish round, what is he? Hug manager Art Thor. He pummels Andre White, and Ron Stander stops it early in round seven. Well, for Andre White, unfortunately, he had to take some extra punishment. His corner should have stopped the bout, should never have left him come out. And I think uh, Ron Stander was a little late in stepping in as well. Rocky Gannon I'm here. got the job done. He's an engaging young man, a 26-year-old who thinks he can take that next step up the ladder. Let's take a look at the end of round seven, Al, the, the end of the fight in early parts of round seven. Exactly the way I put my hand out. This fight's going out to Big Al. He just passed away. All right, Rocky Gannon still talking, but uh, here's what he did with his fist that makes that talking uh, worthwhile. He had Andre White in all kinds of trouble. That was where Ron Stander stepped in, and thank goodness he did. White could not defend himself. And I very seldom say things like the fight should be stopped or... But in this instance, really, some extra punishment for Andre White. In any case, a very good effort by Gannon, but also a courageous effort by White. And in spots, an effective effort by White. But Gannon just too much for him. And uh, he ended up winning this bout. White a replacement here for Dominic Carter. Took the fight on short notice and uh, did the best he could. The first knockout loss for Ladies and gentlemen, White. referee Ron Here's Stander stops Divya. the bout.
in 16 seconds of the seventh round. The winner by a technical knockout and new IBA light heavyweight champion, Rocky Gannon. Rocky Gannon gets his 19th career knockout, his 26th victory. He wins the IBA's first ever title fight as he stops Andrew White in round number seven for Rocky Gannon, the first time in his career that he has recorded a seventh round knockout. And Andrew White, his record falls to 16 and five. But a good start, don't forget Michael Carbajal still coming up in our main event. But when we come back, we will move to the heavyweight division. The Alaskan Assassin takes on William Harris as ESPN's championship boxing continues from Des Moines, Iowa after this timeout.